Welcome back to part 3 everyone. In this part we're going to try to tidy up this diagram and the first thing we're going to do is find the intersection of the sphere and the plane. It's a circle. Now we're going to use that circle to make a shape which will act as a guide to where this plane is. We're going to draw a decagon, in fact a dodecagon. It's going to be around this segment through a point on that intersection circle. Now when we hide the plane with control M and hide the sphere with control M, we're left with what is going to work as a little handle on the cutting plane um, without actually having the whole plane there because that could make the diagram a bit um, difficult to see when we have more than one plane. Okay, so now we need to cut the cube with the dodecagon. So we go up to the tool here which says cut polyhedron. We're going to cut this cube with this regular dodecagon. Okay, where's the other part gone? Well, it's actually hidden. We want to see it, so we right-click, show hidden objects, and this is the part we want to see. So we press Control M to bring it back. Now when I go back here and right-click and say, I don't want to see the other hidden objects, they go again. Now look what happens as I drag this little handle for the plane. I can see different cuts of the cube. I can change the angle. As before. And I can translate the cut. So I think that makes it tidier to see. Um, we can see the same cut but without the whole plane taking up space um, which will be valuable space especially when we have more than one plane. Okay, that's the end of the third part.